Hey everybody, this is Lori Broccolini at HappyNaturalHorse.com. Um, wanted to show this to you um, about the stress points from Jack McGregor. Now I made a DVD on it um, and I show you on the DVD where the stress points parts are. Unfortunately, I don't know how to flip this so it goes the other way. Um, just don't know how to do it. <laughs> so, but I found this course on Pinterest and it shows you the um, circulatory, the blood flow of the horse. You see that? This is where the main arteries go. And see if you go here, which is right here, over here on the stress point chart, which shows you on my DVD, the stress point chart, which you can get on payloads, uh, the DVD that shows you where they are and how to release them with just your fingers. So you see that point is right there. Okay. And then it goes along if you were to follow it. And then there's those two points right there. You see them? One, two. They're right there in the shoulder area. Now, why is this so important? And then you have the ones here. This is the venous arch. Um, this is thor thoracic uh, limp duct. That's why horses get blocked in their ribs here. If you put the saddle on too tight, right in here. And this is where the muscles in here on this right side, but you can see that the veins go out. The little blood veins still go out. Pretty cool, huh? Then you have this point here, point 30, 22 and 21. So you have point 2 and 21 over the main one, and 23. And then of course the blood veins go up here. So this is the lymph nodes, okay? The lymph nodes are where the blood flows. You got it? That's where the blood flows. So why is stress point so important out of all the other modalities? You can massage this horse till he's blue in his face. You can laser him till he's blue in the face. He's still going to have an issue if you do not unblock these points. Um, there's a couple ways that you can unblock them. The best way is you use your fingers. You just hold them. You know, you just hold them, you find the pen, and it's going to feel like a knot, like a knot in your neck. It's going to feel like a knot. And then when you start working that knot back and forth, putting pressure on it, like about 30 pounds of pressure, then release it, then do it more, up to a minute. You only need a minute. And then you go back to it, and it'll be nice and soft. Then, and only then, can the blood flow. If you are a massage therapist, and you do massage, and you don't hit these lymph node parts, and that horse is blocked in there, he's going to stay blocked. He just is. So you have to release him. Now, the other way is you could take, um, I use the laser one touch. You could use that to put on the point to see if it will release it, or if you have a phonic help, um, red light. But the red light, um, there's controversy about the red light damaging nerves. Whereas, no, the soft touch, the uh, laser one touch does not damage the nerves. It's just what I've heard. Don't know if it's true or not. Um, I did have a phonic uh, laser, and I didn't really see any difference in it between that and my fingers. But with the laser one touch, it is, and I'll put that link below. But anyway, so, and then the other way is when you are releasing these points with your fingers, I just thought it was really neat how the lymph nodes, like, have the same spot. And it is, I thought it was so cool. There's this one. This one is a really strong one, especially barrel racers and rainers. This one's always blocked, so you want to really work on that. So the third way is to use your fingers, but use essential oils. And I would use the essential oils from doTERRA because they're the best and they don't have any synthetics in it, and they're pure, okay? And so what I would do is probably use the Aroma Touch, um, the Balance you could use, the DDR Prime, or possibly wintergreen. But if you use wintergreen, it's a hot oil and you wanna be able to dilute it. And so what you would do is you would put the oil on the point, like on the point, like if you're doing this, and then use your fingers 
and rub them back and forth or push on them and then rub it back and forth. And you can use your fist. Let me get my stuff here. Let me get this up. You can use your fist to roll into those points. You can roll like into them and then go back and forth. With your two, you can use your two knuckles or you can just use your knuckle. Okay, thought that was pretty cool. Um, and like right above the eye, there is a lip node there. I would not put an oil, I mean you could put an oil there, but you wanna make sure it doesn't get in the eye. Um, but I would just put the pressure there. I wouldn't put the light there, but some people might. But you can just rub it over real quickly. Um, I wouldn't let it stay too long to open those channels up. But unless this blood is flowing and this lip node's flowing, nothing else is going to flow. Just not gonna do it. And so um, it's interesting they have this point here which they don't show here, but they show one here. Well, that was interesting. So, but there's that main artery there, and then it goes down, but he has it here. I would look for the one in the middle right here. This is a suspensory point right in here. Um, and it shows you on my book how to identify and release your horse's pain points, I think. No, it shows you in the natural equine remedies, sorry. Natural Equine Remedies book, it shows you where eight bells, if they would have had checked her suspensory point, what happens is you push up into this point with your two fingers. Usually you use your thumb and your other index and you push up in there, okay? And you push up in there and these will buckle. Below the knee will buckle. And when it buckles, that means there's a problem there. So you need to check it. Every horse that I've had buckle has had an issue. Either it's been swollen, there's heat there, um, there's some kind of an injury there, soft tissue damage, always, you can always find it. Um, I found most of the suspensories in jumpers and I found it mostly in racehorses and that would be, you know, of course, you know, of course it would be in racehorses. I mean, they could take a lot of beating and pounding. So, just wanted to show you the charts on the stress points of Jack McGregor and where the lymph nodes go. I thought that was pretty interesting how it's exactly correlated. Isn't that cool? This is so cool. So, okay, so that, that can help your horse be more supple um, and be more free moving. That's what you want. I talked to a lady yesterday. She was constantly releasing the shoulder and but she had my stress point DVD and I said, you need to do the stress points. You just need to do the stress points. Because if you're doing the shoulders every day and they're still locking up, it's either your diet or he's blocked. And you could do the pain point release all you want, but if it's still blocked, you've got to move the lymph nodes, the circulatory system. You have to. Okay? You guys have a great day. Share this video. Subscribe to the video so you can hear more of my great advice. I hope I helps you. Um, I'm not an expert. I am not a vet. And I'm just somebody that went to school and spent a lot of money and learned all this stuff that is non-conventional so that you can help your horse be healthy and sound. HappyNaturalHorse.com. You can get the uh, DVD at payloads.com or I'll put the link below. You can get it at HappyNaturalHorse.com. Bye.